Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing part one of my 2021 Skinny Classic Happy Junk Bullet Journal. <laughs> and if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. I will break up this video into pieces because there's going to be different components that I'll be doing. I don't know how long it's going to be, but uh, I'm envisioning it's going to be a bit lengthy and there will be times that I already know that I will go radio silent as I just play along. In those instances, I will turn on some music and then when I come back, if need be, I'll explain part of the process. Now, I really am going to be um, DIYing, Franken planning this entire process. And so I just want to show you some of the components. Now this actually used to be a cover on something else and I apologize if there is a glare, but I cut this down to fit the skinny classic because this was um, a file folder that I had laminated for a just a regular classic notebook. But I wanted to use this cover right here. So I'm going to take that apart and take this one as well. And then I can just use this like this to cover all of these papers because this will just warehouse some of the things that I've already cut down. Uh, I did also cut down some white paper. This was gifted to me by my friend Kelly uh, late 2019. I believe this is HP Prontum paper. If I can find it online, I'll link it below. It is definitely thicker weight than just regular copier paper, but it isn't like full on cardstock and it's very slick. The reason she had sent this to me is because I think it might be brush pen friendly. Uh, if you have any kind of tooth on your paper and you use a brush pen, it could make it fray. So, um, what I'm going to do, and I have these discs here. Maybe it'll look better with this. Because I like using metal discs, and I have actually, I think they're rose gold on my current one, but we're just going to use this. I mean, <laughs> it should be about the planner and not about the discs, but I didn't match these up, and so... Yeah, I'm gonna put these together and I find that it's easier if you use the cover, although it might be easier still if you move that out of the way, and then you just have them sitting up for you. I am putting them on classic size uh, because the way that I planned to use this, it's, it's going to get chunky, I'm going to hope that I can get three months at a time on here. Uh, again, once I start putting it together, I can show you better of what I mean. But this first video, part one, is gonna be setting up all of the trackers that I wanna keep in the beginning of the planner slash journal um, for the entire year. And then I can cycle out the months as need be. All right, so. There's that. I'm actually leaning towards this one. Again, the pinks don't really go because that's more of a salmon and that's more of a hot pink, but we will make it work. So I'm going to be putting some of this on. Now for last month, I used some watercolor paper and actually would have preferred that because I do like the weight of it, but it has that cream cast and I just, I wanted something that was more white. So I cut some of these down. And again, this is from my stash that Kelly had sent to me. I am going to put some of the paper that came with this. And this is something I had ordered from Zulily. And I'll put that back there as well. And I don't know if I'll actually be using these, um, but I like having them on hand. 
and I'll put some of these in as well. Again, I don't know if I'll be using them, but I like to have them just in case I do. And then I've got some of this paper that I've cut down that has no border. And the way that I did that was I used a, a sheet of big Happy Note paper and then I was able to get two of these skinny classics out of them. And so if you use a classic size, you'll just only be able to get one. And I can show you the off cut. So the big paper that I had was this rainbow one. And so you get these two sides, but then you, because I wanted it this way, I was able to cut it so that there is no border. And I prefer that because while it's usable, depending on your color scheme, you either have to cover it up or work around it. I like not having to work around anything. Although the way that I punch things, I don't get it as centered as I should. So there's a little bit more on the bottom here than there is on the top, which is fine. I just, I'm not really good at the punching. And so that is the booklet together. I'll put this in the back. I don't know if I'm going to need that. And while this looks more like a notebook than a planner, um, it is in a way because I am doing it more in a junk journal style than I am in a traditional planner layout style. And so having a bunch of blank papers actually works the best for me. This was one of those classic size dashboards that I just cut down to fit inside here. And that essentially is going to be the notebook for next year, or my journal, I should say. So let me put this away. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to be setting up our 2020 cover page. I'm gonna use my Tombow Let's do some swatching. That's 8.50. Cause I need to find out how it looks on the page, but also if it ghosts on the back or bleeds through. 9.12. Probably my favorite of all of mine. I don't have many, but it's it's my favorite so far. And this is 9.42. So there is a little bit of ghosting. What's that one? That's the memento. There's just some slight bleed through. It's actually really good paper. Okay, well that's a good tester to have, so that won't be our cover page. So let's take a couple out. My space is tiny, so I apologize if it seems like I'm super messy, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so we'll put some washi down and try to get this straight. There. 
And unlike bullet journal videos that you see, I don't map anything out. So we're just going to put things down on a page and hope for the best. I like how the 942 came out. So I'm going to use that. I'm gonna use the brush pen. this tears away easily. <laughs> Well, that's the cover page done. I started with the washi in the middle, but I, I didn't know actually where it was going to go. And I was struggling a little bit. And then I found these in the flowers sticker book. And I think that was a very good save. So that's the cover for 2021. And now we're gonna do a two page spread. And this is going to be called Reminders Not Resolutions. I don't really do um, New Year's resolutions just because I don't want to say I don't believe in them, <laughs> but I don't believe in them. <laughs> I'm going to just do some lettering. I have this pen that I picked up, which is a Koi coloring brush pen. Let's see how that comes out. Oh, that's super pink. It's actually a lot more pink than I wanted. Mm, but it doesn't bleed, so that's good. And there's this, which is even more pink. And this is the Pentel Touch. I, I love this one. It's just the tip is so big. These are already skipping though. All right. Maybe we'll just use this side. Oh, that's cool. So this is reminders. not resolutions.
Now, um, what I've done is in Canva, I looked up some quotes and then I put them down. I thought it'd be easier than um, me lettering all of this. It certainly will be faster. I like the look of it thickened up with this, but it does go through, so I'm not going to do it here. I'll think of something else to do here. And what I did was I put it all on a sheet like this. So there's six quotes that fit, and this is just a regular eight and a half by 11. If you guys are interested, let me know. I can save this and put it up as a free printable on my blog. But uh, then when I printed it again for my purposes, I shrunk it down in the printing settings to 79% so I could get it so that it would fit nice in here because I am working with a quite a bit of a small <laughs> canvas here. And I don't know if I'll use all six. Oh yeah. But I did choose tones of pink. And I just wanna kind of mix it up here. And I just printed it on regular um, copy your paper and this was just watercolor um, elements that were from Canva itself. Okay, I'll save these for later on. And I want to leave some space there and there because I am going to write something. So I'm going to put this down. Right, so my reminders for this upcoming year are, it is nice to be important, but it is more important to be nice. 
Embrace the glorious mess that you are, a quote by Elizabeth Gilbert. The future is shaped by your dreams, so stop wasting your time and go to sleep. And it will never be perfect. Make it work life. A reminder is a noun and is a thing that causes someone to remember something. And a resolution is also a noun and is two definitions, a firm decision to do or not to do something, and the quality of being determined or resolute. For me, I always seen uh, resolutions as a negative connotation in that there's something about you that needs to be fixed that isn't good enough and so you make all these resolutions to fix it and then come valentine's day it's like nope and so i want to remind myself for 2020 of some of these things some of it's a little silly some of it is a reminder that it will never be perfect, so you're just going to need to make it work, but also the importance of being kind. And so that is my reminder, not resolutions page. I might add to this later. I had put down the sticker, but I wasn't feeling it. And I think the pops of color just bring it up enough. Clearly, it's a very simple spread, but I think it's quite profound. And if I ever get into a funk where I need to remind myself of it, I know where to come. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, reflections coming into the new year, as well as a what works and what didn't. So I'll put this to the side. And for these two pages, they'll be very simple. And will I be able to get this whole sticker? Most of it. Although maybe I should go for something darker. And this, I just want to be a landing page for um, my thoughts coming into the year. I do plan on doing my thoughts coming out of this year in my current setup. So I thought this would be a good way to sort of transition and I will be doing it on different days. And so it won't be just a regurgitation of, of the same thing. Just like that, those two pages are done. Now for this what worked and what didn't, I think I'm going to make this as a landing page. This was something that I was doing on a monthly basis, but I think it might be um, better if I do it in its own section for the year, because as I go through each month, then I'll just learn what I like and what I didn't, and I think it'll just be easier. It is not going to be a problem for me that this is blank paper and not lined, uh, because I can write reasonably straight on blank paper. And if you noticed, I do actually like putting the definition. It's something that I had started in something else that I had done. And I just, I really like that. I won't be doing it on every page, but I just, I liked having it on the reminders, the resolutions and the reflections page. I don't know why. 
And next we're gonna be going at a year at a glance, a future log sort of combo. And this is where it might get a little dodgy only because I didn't map this out beforehand. These are stickers that I had picked up when I had ordered my Stology, and this does have the entire year. There is no reason for me to have to write all of this down. I know it would look cute, but it would absolutely drive me bonkers. So let me go ahead and put this down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut away this blue. I don't need any of the tabs here, but I do want the calendar since I already have it. And the set that I purchased came with four different sets of calendars and I'm not going to need them for really anything else.
All right, so important lesson. I should have put the tops and the bottom so I could figure out the middle. Um, it did rip away at the paper, but that's fine. Um, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's not going to bother me. And I'm going to use this as sort of a year at a glance, as well as a future log uh, for any of the three dots. I don't think there's more than three birthdays or anniversaries, holidays, I would generally write in my work planner because it affects me that way. And then if I can remember, I would like to write down my YouTube stats on a monthly basis. I haven't been doing that, but I would like to grow my channel in 2021. It's not going to be my biggest priority. Uh, Self-care and wellness actually will be, but it will be something that I would like to be a little bit mindful of. Okay, and on this spread, and we're near the end, and this one should also be fairly quick. So I need just this and then the back side, and then we're gonna be done with the setup. And this will be uh, video ideas. Again, I'd like to keep it into one place. If I need to add more, I certainly can, but on a month-to-month -month basis, I like writing it down, but also I never migrate some of my older ideas over, and so if I just have it in one place, I think that might be better for me. And I like the setup with the flowers. And so we're going to continue to do that. Okay, I said it was going to be for my video and my blogs um, ideas, but I actually have tons of ideas for my blogs. It's actually more the execution of it, and I don't need that here. So uh, I'm just going to keep this as video ideas, and this actually can be for both my main channel that you're watching as well as my gaming channel. I would like to do a little bit more focus on that. And again, if I need to add more pages, I certainly can. And so this last page right here, I would like to do a reading progress with Andy. Uh, we have been doing a buddy read and I foresee that we're going to continue <laughs> to do a buddy read into 2021. Um, we're definitely going to be finishing up the Harry Potter series, and I think there's another series that we're going to be looking at starting. And so it isn't really to track that, because I'm going to be doing that on a monthly basis, but I would like to just track the books that we have finished um, in 2021. And I am so thankful for her because if it weren't for Andy, I would not be reading anything. Um, it's because that we do our buddy read that it keeps me motivated to continue to read. And I just, I like the interactions that we have with each other. And I think I'll choose... Oh, that one's really nice. Yeah, I like that one. But we're going to put it on its side as a header at the top here. That's the reading progress with Andy. All right, let me go ahead and put this on the discs and I'll bring you guys right back. 
All right, guys, so this is the setup for my 2021 bullet slash junk journal in my skinny classic now this front section is definitely more bullet journal-esque um, but when i get into the monthly sections that might be more of a hybrid between a junk journal and a bullet journal i am definitely more comfortable um, journaling things that have happened rather than planning things to happen and I've, I've talked about that before. I added this up here just to add a little bit of extra at the top plus to hide some of the bleed through there. I think I could have executed this better but because I don't pre-plan I knew kind of what I wanted and then it just sort of unfolded but I do like how it looks and even though the colors don't match I'm, I, I love florals and so it makes me happy. Um, I do like this page. I think these could have been done a little bit smaller, but they're fine. And really, it's the sentiment on the page that really speaks to me. I might come in and add some floral elements after the fact, but as of right now, I'm leaving that. Again, this is my reminders, not resolutions page. This will be my reflections coming into 2021. I'd like to go ahead and write this down probably sometime in the first or second week of January. And then here will be um, just a what worked and what didn't in my planner setups. Uh, it's not really what worked and what didn't in my personal life, but just as reminders to me, things that I like doing and things that I didn't like doing in this setup here. This is my year at a glance slash future log. I will be coming in here and writing down some important dates. I generally remember important dates throughout the year, but I thought, well, I, I do like to have a calendar in my planner journal. I know the, the words are simul or the words kind of mean the same thing to me, although it doesn't mean the same thing to you guys probably. And then there are some things like my YouTube that I would like to track stats. Here is just a landing page for video ideas. It's sort of like a brain dump for that. And this can be for either of my channels because I would like to grow both of them. And then the final is my reading progress with Andy. It isn't so much a breakdown of what we're doing on a weekly basis as that will be featured on a month to month basis in its own section. But this is really just the books that we are finishing up together in 2021. Part two of this video will be setting up for January and that'll be more along the lines of how I've been doing both November and December in my Skinny Classic setup. If you're interested, I'll link that playlist below. And the next time you see this, I might switch these discs out. They are way more prominent than I would like. And so I'll have to see if in my stash I have other metal discs or I know I have a ton of plastic discs, which are fine. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this setup. And as always, aloha.